a state conference president, uh, I don't know a man uh, that is more worthy other than Richard Rose to be our president because you are passionate about equality. That's something that nobody can um, doubt you on. You're very passionate about equality. Is equality on the ballot uh, uh, going into this election, Joe? Absolutely. Equality is on the ballot. Justice is on the ballot. Freedom and, and liberation is on the ballot. That's why it's important that we vote. And I'm glad we're here at Vintage Barbershop right. uh, to have this important conversation. When I walked in, I said, man, this looked like the barbershop that my granddad took me to get my right. first haircut with my dad. And so right. I think no better place than to have this conversation uh, right. Because, you know, black men's vote is going to be pivotal in this election. It is. And it's important that we understand what the issues are. So, yeah, equality, liberation, freedom are all on the ballot. Uh, and it's important we get out. Uh, do you think the candidates are saying or speaking to some of the issues that you protest about each and every day? Um, you're one of the uh, attorneys that's in this state that's a civil rights attorney and a criminal defense attorney uh, in the state of Georgia. Uh, you've had a bunch of... Pro high-profile cases of police killing unarmed black men. Yeah. And, uh, and you push to uh, get them held uh, accountable for those actions. Have you heard anybody that spoke up or speaking up about that in this election? Well, currently in this election cycle, no. Uh, we've heard them pivot back to, you know, we're going to be, you know, supporting law enforcement and, and uh, those type of talking points. And let's be clear. You know, the movement in 2020 and 2021 was not anti-law enforcement. It was pro-justice. So I would like to hear more from the candidates of how they are pro-justice in not only dealing with public safety, but also dealing with police accountability. Right. The two are not mutually exclusive. Right. And, and so it's my hope that with this, uh, we're going to stand with law enforcement. We're going to back the blue. We need to back the law. Right. And if a law enforcement officer violates the public trust, they will be held accountable. I think all Georgians agree that we should back the law. And so I think the candidates need to pivot to backing the law and not just backing the blue. Right. 